Hey there, everybody. How you all doing? Welcome back. How you doing there, Mr. Bodine? And anybody else out there lurking in the world of Twitch? Just keeping an eye on my feed at the minute. It's actually showing a little bit unstable. Hopefully that will settle shortly. But ah, it is what it is, isn't it? So it's all good. Hey, Bat Papa, how you doing, buddy? Right then, so um, I'm into harvest season, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on. I've currently got two helpers on my field, just harvesting, and I'm just getting a couple of contracts ongoing. So, yeah, hey, Ghost DK, how's it going? Uh, just fishing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just caught your first uni. Wow, nice one, Mr. Bodie. Well done, you. Wow. How's this doing? That is really cool. I haven't caught a uni yet. I've caught a few, um, look, uh, epic, not epics, what you call them? Trophies, and that's about it, really. <laughs> uh, hey, Rossi Nail. And Kilroy, um, okay, on the mine shed, how do you get the gems out of it? I can't see a trigger. So it's not actually on the mining shed, Bat Papa. Um, what you need to do is place it down, let it run through, but you also need to own plot 231 in the mine. Oh, let me hit it here. So it's going to be this upper level, and along there is six different triggers that will spawn the gems and the rocks. So for example, right here is the first one. Obviously I'm just up from the ore mine to give you an idea of where we are. But along this ledge itself, there's six of these little spawn areas. And this is where you're gonna get your gems and your rocks from. As you can see, I've got a couple of um, amethysts and an aquamarine there already spawned. But obviously you do need to allow it to run through a few months anyway, that's for sure. And there's some more. I haven't had any rocks come through yet, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So that's one, that's two, three, four there, there's a five there, and then one around the corner. Right there. And each will actually produce the same amount, so if you've got three of one one of the other you'll have that on each of those spawn triggers as well as obviously the big rocks but you do get diamonds emeralds and rubies and such so yeah it's literally this upper level you need to own as well and basically what the mine shed does it sends the resources or the materials to the spawn triggers to spawn those gems in the rocks and obviously the rocks can go over to the big um rock crusher that's built into the map the gems you can just pick up and obviously sell them at the bank. Obviously on my Trello there is obviously my little trailer there uh, that you can use to pick them up. And yeah, I do know quite a few people have said they've had great success picking this up. And the nice thing is um, you can put some rock or stones into this as well. So while you're transporting your rocks, slap a couple of bucket fills of stones in there and yeah. Two, two birds with one stone so <laughs> but yeah I am going to do an update to that at some point I want to add some capacity configurations into it so you can actually have higher um, unreal capacities as well so there will be an update coming to that at some point there we go right anywho so glad that helps um, same sort of thing with the uh, event center. So if you've got the event center, just place it down anywhere on your map. It doesn't have to be in a specific place. Same with the mining shed. Um, and then obviously around the map, if you own a property that has a spawn trigger, what will happen is within three to four in-game months, maybe, you'll start seeing some stuff. 
obviously, or I actually should say seasons rather than months, because it is going to be pulling it from one season for about two to three on. So, for example, if you're in winter, when you place it down, it'll take the, those resources, and I think it's around about summer, autumn is when you'll start seeing things. So it gives you an idea of the time frame on that. But yeah, no worries, guys, no worries. Right, so I need to take this up to, f or I should say down the map, to field four. Dang. I did accept a couple of contracts. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I've got two on the go, and it's going to be right next door to that. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, how are you guys all doing, by the way? Hopefully you've had a la good couple of days. Obviously, I spent last night doing a little bit of fishing myself on Fishing Planet. Um, decided to go over to Emerald Lake for a change. And yeah, did pretty well. Leveled up twice. So I'm up to like level 21 on there. Um, yeah. Had, I think, it was three trophies and all the rest were just like normals and babies. So, yeah, or younglings, should say. S fish. So, yeah. Definitely coming on nicely there. Yeah, anyway, obviously on here, I'm just going to carry on as normal. Harvest time is with this. Obviously, I'm gonna, I am using my um, shed pack. I've got a couple of triggers placed down to distribute products if I need to. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm kind of considering changing this bridge to one of the bascules. Now, I know that Green Thumb Farmer has created some smaller bascule bridges to actually hit some of these areas so I may look into changing them up because yeah these wooden ones are just ridiculous at times I do have a, a bit of a uh, idea with this grass area as well I'm kind of thinking of a industrial built up area kind of in the same way Dave's doing his with the um, the apartment blocks. I want to actually use some productions and put them in there. I'm not sure exactly which ones yet, but the main, the first one I was thinking is mainly like the the water facility. I think I'm putting that right on the edge and then build build on from there. So I think that will utilise that area quite well. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Turn my headset down a little bit. There we go. It's a little loud in my ears. Hopefully, the sound isn't too loud for you guys. But yeah, obviously, if you've got any questions, you are definitely welcome to drop them in chat at any time. Now, obviously, you could do it during my stream, Viking, or any of the SGA members who play the map because they should be able to help you out. Actually, while I think about it, let me jump in there a sec just in case anybody wanted to join. But yeah, there we go. That's something else I need to deactivate as well. Well, I remember what if I got a good straight line? Let's see, it's not too bad. Let's see if I'm going to here. We'll set that to 100% found. That'll hide those little collectibles in the mine area. It's kind of annoying. It'd be nice if they were just permanently turned off but nah never happens da, da, da. so at the minute I am currently trying to save up my money obviously there is a property of land along the left there that I want to purchase it's actually got one of the buildings that can be broken up and I want to use it to basically have a place to put down off the new oil factory So then I can replace the two that I've currently got on the map and run them out. So, yay. Right, I'm going to field four. So, where about am I now? So, above field seven, I need to turn. I think it's left up here somewhere. I always get lost on this side of the map. It's terrible. Let's see. So, yeah, I came down here. I came through there. That's the one, yep, good. And we'll carry on around. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is, because obviously I don't really play much on this side of the map yet. So I get very, very lost around here. It took me about 10 minutes just to find that field entrance <laughs> earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Um, I do at the moment three potato contract. Oh, let me stop that a minute. And I think they are mixed up to each other. Each other. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing when doing a contract. If you have like three that's all the same, what you'll find is they'll combine it all into sort of one, as it were. So you have to literally finish all three or do them all in order. So like the lowest field first, then the next, and then the next. And you might find that they are uh, complete properly that way. Um, yeah, I've had that many a times in 22. So annoying. So I tend to try and stay away with just doing like a wheat contract, a co uh, potato, a single one of each fruit type. Now, I need to get into here somewhere. I'm hoping there's an entrance down here, otherwise I'm going to be cutting through the trees here in a moment. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, sausage. Sausage bangers. There we go. Let's try and wiggle my way through here, because this is the field I want. And that's the end I want, so that's good. Yeah, I need to make a few extra entrances or find another way in here. I've got a feeling it's actually down the last side, but oh well. Right, so let's get rid of that. Hey, Farmer Dad, how you doing? Uh, I changed the collectibles X amount to... Oh, it? Yeah, obviously, yeah, you could do that to make it easier. You certainly could, Mr. Bodine. You certainly could. Hey, boss, how you doing? Alright, how are you? Not too bad, thanks. Just getting some work done on the farm today. And contracts. Nice. <coughs> Got some canola. Go. Hired helper, and I can get some trucks up here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Let's grab a U. And I hope it will be good. Yeah. Yeah, once you've completed all three, you'll find that you will have a lot left over if you've used like the better contracts mod. It does help out a heck of a lot, that's for sure. Righty. But yeah, what's you beat up to the Mr. Dave? And how you doing, Mr. Jers? Oh, just waking up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I've been awake a little while. What do you think I'm doing? Probably fishing on you. No, probably. I gotta get the <laughs> fish. <laughs> oh, bless him. I didn't get enough fishing time yesterday. Didn't you? Oh. Oh, yeah, because you were going for, was it level 72? I don't know. I'm going. I hit 75. Now I'm oh, working on okay. 76. Wow. I'm getting close. He is. And obviously, if you but guys have not followed Mr. Dave, hit that link and give him a follow. Obviously, he will be streaming later. Who knows what? That's the thing. Um, yeah, that is it. Not even he knows. So yeah. stay tuned. Exactly. Could be He's a bit of farm sim. Apples. Could be. Fishing planet. I think it might be sunken land with Big Daddy again. Ooh, that sounds it nice. Very well, possibly could. Cool. Actually, what I'm thinking about, I could have used Follow Me, but oh well. Oh well. Oh, yes. Yeah. I still want a game I haven't looked into trying. I keep seeing Darius though playing today, and you know, obviously he's doing Satisfactory again, and it's kind of getting the itch to maybe load that up again. It's not good. I had a little itch. I scratched it, and it was gone. <laughs> obviously, the biggest th thing that's put me off is restarting. Really, oh. Mr. Grits fan, thank you very much for the five dollar don uh, tip. Much appreciated. Thank you. You really don't need to, but thank you. I could think of a, a concept for a new design there, I would have, but I'm like, no, that's oh, not going to work. Running through a different thing. Yeah. Wow. Five dollars. Nice. Let me get.
give you a shout out. Uh, uh, copy. There we go. And obviously, if you guys are not following Mr. Grits fan, make sure to click on the link. Give him a follow as well. Obviously, he does stream this map. And he's actually getting quite knowledgeable, actually, about some of this stuff in there. So, definitely go over, check him out, and ask him questions. Say hello. I think he, 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 he's... Yeah, need some company, definitely. There we go. I keep missing him, actually. He was live yesterday, and I totally missed it. I do apologise. There we go, right. This will do. I should have really set up my auto drive routes for this, doing these contracts, make life a little bit easier as well. I don't think I've got a field two and four yet. Let's have a look. Right, you should be that. So I can change that to fields. Nope, I got an eight, okay. Do, 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 do. So I'll leave this up for the minute and then I'll add in some new routes for field two and four. You are very, very welcome. Yeah, I was helping Mamadou, and obviously she has asked if I could pop in and help her on a one to one with Trello as well. She, she gets a bit confused over it and doesn't know what to do, so... Yeah, I'll probably jump in Discord with her later, hopefully, and then... Helping her out as well. Yeah, I got her um, mod folder all sorted out the other day, so... She now has no mods that shouldn't be on here. <laughs> How are you doing there, Neon? Hello. Hello. How's Good morning. Or afternoon, or whatever it is for you. It's morning. How is life with Mr. Neon? Uh, pretty good so far. Yeah? Good. Must be a day off. No, just slow down a little bit. find the proper entrance to field two and four this time rather than cutting through the trees right. if I remember rightly you have to actually go down the far end of the field and then back in so I do that so here's this a little bit wide, but that's fine. Hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know there's a turning off here somewhere. Or did I miss it? Oh, well, I think it's down here. Hmm. Ugh. Definitely get lost on this map. Here we go, here we go, that's what I want. Right, so if I start you let's see where's that pin connect to two so that one, that's the one. So bring you a little bit forward and record. should really do it the other way, shouldn't I, with a double. Might a little bit more. There we go. So 
there, to there, there to there, there to there. There we go. That'll do. Uh, you've started to build Alcoa. Really? Already? Wow. Nice one there, Rust. Rusty Nail. Yeah, it's definitely a good one to get going, that's for sure. Right, let's do a little bit further on. So I'm going to be carrying on down here. But yeah, Alcoa, that's more of a later game one, but yeah. There's nothing stopping you from making a start on it now. The nice thing is, obviously, once you get it built, you can start getting products into there and maybe start making money if you wanted to. So this I'll keep as a single way. Come in, swing around, and Mr. Viking, how are you doing there, sir? What am I doing there, Mr. Grits? I'm, I'm setting up some auto drive routes to make life a little bit easier on the fi um, getting to certain fields around here. Obviously, where I'm not coming around this area that much, it's kind of hard to try and remember where every field is. And, obviously, this one is field two. Yes, it is. So, let's put a point on there. So, field two. And the nice thing is also, if I do get a little bit busy myself, I can use the auto drive to actually unload those combines on each of the fields like a lot of you guys do anyway yeah, I'm just sort of setting this up initially that will do and we'll connect that point back up to there so that can come around there yep that's fine actually while I'm at it what I can do is get that other dude coming up here Right, so come into the menu. I want field two. Do, 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 do. But yeah, if you're not following Mr. Viking Streaming, make sure to click on that link. Give him a follow, guys. He is a member of the SGA and a very helpful person. He knows quite a lot about the map. So, yeah. Billy is a nuisance. He will be gone in two weeks. I apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, the heck I will be. I'm st I'm here forever. <laughs> there we go. And actually, while I think about it, and there's one for Mr. Amethyst Neon as well. I'm not sure if you got a shout out, but I'll give you one anyway. Why don't you do it yourself? I could, obviously I get lost, because obviously I'm not around here very much, Mr. Grits fan, this side of the map, so obviously normally I'm sort of around this area, I know this area quite well now, but obviously trying to find fields, the lower fields, that is kind of tricky, obviously I want to try and stick to obviously the roads rather than cutting through trees all the time, so also, like I said, if I get like three, four, five contracts all in the same sort of area, what I can do is use auto drive to deliver the equipment there and then set off hired helpers or do it myself if I wanted to. Obviously, at the minute, I've got uh, contracts two and four going. And obviously, 34 is one that I own myself. Ooh, 37 needs to be harvested as well. So, yeah, I thought, well, as I'm, I've got it here, I might as well use it. And here we go. And to be honest, it does make life a little bit, easy, bit easier when you are busy. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, but, um, hey there, Oppies. How are you doing? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You know nothing. Very, very funny, Viking. Um, right. Hey, who takes clean fill? So, clean fill can be sold at the landfill there rusty nail also you can put it into 
the large concrete factory as a substitute for gravel. I've got a feeling it's down there I want. I got a feeling it was that one. So let me pull along there a bit. But yeah. So for example, you have the landfill here. Obviously, it is just a cell point for gra um, the clean fill there. But obviously, you can put your trash into that as well if you wanted to. But like I said, instead of gravel, if I can find you, in the concrete factory, it goes into the same trigger, if you weren't aware, as the gravel. You can actually put clean fill into there as well. And it's very resourceful, so if you've got plenty coming out of your gold master, you don't really need to be attacking um, the gravel mines so much. Right, where the heck am I there? Da -da -da. Okay, what road do I need to get down here? Uh, fall that down. Okay, so I need to find a freaking road here. Where the heck's the bottom of this? Okay, I see. So I need to come down to the farm and then back up. Okay. That doesn't make sense, does it? You need an access point here. That's being lazy. It is. Actually, if I was to be lazy, I could quite easily go through and use the teleport mod. But I'm not. <laughs> it's being resourceful as well. I've decided I'm removing cheating in my vocabulary and replacing it with being resourceful. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you've got a it high... It makes you feel better. It does. <laughs> and to be honest, on a map this big, if you want to do a lot of contracts, it is probably the easiest way of doing it as well. Um, right, let me see. That's going to be a pain. So let me set up a line that way as well. There we go. Let's, let's take you from. And obviously, it's up to the individual at the end of the day how they want to play. If they want to use high, high capacities, they can do. Or if they want to be like Mr. Dave and use base game stuff, then yeah. So be it. They definitely won't say no to a little higher capacities on certain things. There we go. And let's hook that up. Where's the point? There it is. There to there. And then, oh. Hopefully it's not going to disappear. Nope, good. There we go. That makes life a little bit easier. So, down to the farm. I know I've got... Um, that's set up all the way down to the bottom here, so it's just taking it into the fields next. Or efficiency. Yeah, efficiency. That's another good way of putting it, Bodine. Definitely. <laughs> Efficient. Definitely. So, obviously, the nice thing is if you have, say, for example, six harvesters all running. That's a lot of jumping around that you need to do to unload those harvesters. Obviously, setting up auto drive, you can actually hire the help, the truck, for example, to unload those combines. And obviously, X Man shows them off really, really well. Obviously, he, he is basically the master of auto drive and course play. Obviously, I've picked up a few things along the way, but not too much. But yeah, enough to at least get started. So there's that. You're hooked up, so you should be fine. So this is another area that I want to get into as well at some point. <clears throat> and obviously, what I will probably do is set up a little farm area over here as well with some equipment. And let's see, let's do you. Now, what was this side? This is the. This would be, this would be, where's my little list? See, I made a list the other day of where different equipment I wanted to go. So this is the southeast. So this would be the case farm. 
down this end. So all red equipment, so that's going to be quite nice. May have to look on the in-game mod hub for some case, uh, like plows and stuff. Obviously with the precision farming I'm not going to be using them too much. But the nice thing is you do have a lovely farm already here, you've got a couple of sheds, so and a silo obviously, so yeah, definitely a good start here. Obviously if you're just starting a fresh save you could actually have a nice little area set up um, where that shed is, maybe even sell it and then throw in some produ small little productions and get yourself going that way. And how are you doing, Mr. Brew Crew? I think the post office is hazardous to my health. <laughs> You're very quiet. Let me turn you up a bit. There we go. Let's try that. So why do you say I that? I slept in today. Now I have a headache. Ah. Yeah, that won't help. Maybe that was that really long stream you did yesterday. It didn't help. Probably. <laughs> Right, that's fine, so what I'll do is I'll take it on a little bit and then spin it back around. Actually, one thing to do, let me turn that off and back on. Don't do that too close. Eh, it should be fine. Hey there, Madeira, how you doing? And Sim Farmer seventy seven, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome in. Also, if you guys have got any questions, as always, you're more than welcome to drop them in chat. And let me do. Hopefully that's right. Yeah. So there's a shout out for Mr. Brukeru, who's in chat with us in Discord at the moment. Obviously he's doing a lot of fishing planet at the minute and farm sim, so definitely go over there and check him out. And obviously catch him when he does his extra long streams, they're great. Uh, M -I -D -E -R -I -A. And there is a shout out for Miss Mederia, who was doing a little bit of Call of the Wild the other day. Obviously she does do farm sim as well and a few other games along the way. So definitely give her a follow, guys. There we go. Let me bring that up a bit. That's I think fine. you guys should work on a new video series. A new video series? That highlights each aspect of the, of the map. Uh, that's a lot of work. You go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have a lot of new people that just started playing the map, so... Obviously, there is Ghost DK, who's obviously set up that little help menu for everyone as well now. Um, fudge, what was this? Field 4, wasn't it? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Is, is that a separate mod? It is. I'll show it in just a sec. Let me sort this out. Field 4. Now, what I can do, let me... Go on to combine field four. Um, where the heck was this going? Canola, canola, canola. This is going to. Why is that showing there? That shouldn't be doing that. I need to make a note of that. We want to be doing that then. Dang it. I might have the crop anyway. Um, That's going to be needing an update. I hope that's not showing on all of them, is it? It is. Fudge nuggets. Let's see, let's see. Farmer's market, farmer's market. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need to have a look into that. That should not be shown in here. <sighs> Fudge. Yeah, so the, there's obviously Ghost DK on his Trello. Um, set up a little help menu so rather than having to constantly tab out of the game to go over to the Trello what you can actually do now is actually come into the game help menu itself scroll down 
to where it says PV Canyon Crossing. And obviously this is still a little work in progress. So not everything is there. But most of it should be there to at least get new players into understanding the map and stuff like that and getting going. Um, so obviously it covers what, um, what is PV Canyon Crossing. It has a map overview, obviously the fields themselves plus the plots. So if somebody says, oh, you want to go with plot 2, 3, 1, it's like, where the heck is that? It's right there, you can look on the map if you wanted to. Obviously it introduces you to all the new PV categories. So obviously when you go into your shops and do place down stuff, what he's actually done is broken them down into their individual components. So for example, ones to do with aggro, ones to do with animals, ones to do with mining, productions and stuff like that, as you can see. Each one has their own set um, productions in those lines. It's kind of nice actually. They also It also shows what goes into each of them and what goes in, what comes out, stuff like that. It's quite nice. Um, obviously, he's done that for each of the different tiers. So you've got your tier 1 stuff, your tier 2, your tier 3, tier 4. Obviously, sell points. It gives you an idea of where to sell certain things. Obviously, it doesn't say what sort of month, but... You can get an idea. Obviously, you can go into the menu and just look that way as well if you wanted to. Um, power. Obviously, it's obviously still a, pro, a little bit of progress, but yeah, it shows where you can get your power from, what you can use. Obviously, it does show your labor, your money, you know, on the sport and all that. Um, housing, for example. Obviously, buildings. That's going to be your apartment blocks. So, obviously, they're going to be... Um, I, I, I'm assuming that's the apartment box because obviously you've got the houses. The only thing is the numbers seem a little bit re reversed. I don't know if it's just me. It seems like the houses are actually outputting more than the apartment blocks. Maybe something to look into. But yeah, there is the actual link for um, mods by Ghost DK if anybody's interested in grabbing this. Um, but yeah, obviously he's also added in the base game production chains along with the Platinum DLC. So yeah, give it a try. Obviously this is still being worked on and updated regularly. So bear that in mind and hopefully when it, there is an update, Ghost DK will actually let us know as well. So we can get an update, show you guys, or guys it. And obviously there is the streams as well. If ever you do get stuck, you're more welcome to ask questions. So yeah, it's definitely wor worth having it in there as a reference guide so it's kind of cool and obviously a big thank you to ghost once again for that all right i do need to do a quick edit to what was that that was showing up um so the small shed storage distribution okay i'm sure it should be on there unless it's got a different thing let me have a little look storage shed and that's going to be the Crops and orchards, crops and orchards, grains. Let's have a quick look at this cell and trigger on that. Did I do an oops? Um, cell trigger, stats, mission falls. Well, that's weird. That shouldn't be shown on there. It says allow missions false, shown stats false, supports extension false and hide from price menu true. So why is that shown in there then? Hmm. I'm going to drop it in there and see what happens. Hopefully it'll allow me to complete those two contracts. And that's the same one, crops and orchards, yeah. Interesting. But yeah, this should not be showing in there. Unless, the only thing I can think of is maybe that better contracts mods overriding something, but it sh that would affect all of them then. I'll have to look into that. Something's not right. Um, let me set you to the main farm area, and we'll put you on combine, field four, let's try that, 
I know there's no harvester set up yet. Alright, field four. That. So he should be fine for the moment. Let me just tap into you. Yep, you power down, you're fine. And then finally is get you set to two. There's that. And then oops. Keep tapping into that trigger. And we will do harvester. You can go to the main farm as well when you're ready. And hopefully, once the harvester is close to being ready, what he will do is drive onto the field and start unloading. So that's going to make my life a little bit easier. Right, so obviously I do have two workers ongoing at the minute who probably need to unload and so let's get in and get them unloaded want to be easier to use an auger yep you could use an auger and do it that way as well if you want to be a bit more realistic but I'm not realistic <laughs> actually I want to see how they actually handle those um, ideals I know I've had an issue with some of those Hispano modern containers being that little bit too high and unable to actually unload properly, so we'll see how auto drive works with it. So, yeah, and obviously, Mr. Viking popped off for a phone call and came back quite nicely. What's going on with the farm? So, yeah, obviously, harvesting is ongoing at the minute. That's pretty much what I'm going to be focusing on. So my animals are now all topped up. I quickly did that this afternoon to get ready for all this. So I wasn't jumping here, there, and everywhere. So my animals are doing well. Um, my factories have pretty much run out of products. Hence, but it was a perfect timing, actually, to get in a harvest. So, yeah. So let's get you unloaded. I wish there was uh, something you could get that would say, like, pop up just a little message that says, like, if something's out of material or no yeah. more space or something like that. I believe there is a natural mod on the in-game mod hub that does something similar to that. Um, it's like a factory extension. Now, obviously, with all the productions on here, ooh, I would hate to see the list for that. If it, if it even yeah, won. I had that, and it showed like everything, the fish yeah. and all that other stuff. Yeah. So obviously there's all those hidden triggers as well, the fish, the um, spawn points for the um, rocks and that. So. Right, so you are fine for the moment. Let's leave you there. Let me see if we can find another tractor. There we go. Do we have... Yes. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother bailing it this time. I'm actually gonna just pick it up loose, and I can pop it into the, my little shed. There we go. Which iron ore is the trigger for the rocks and gems? Which iron ore? There isn't any iron that go, goes it. Basically, what you need to do for the rocks and gems. Obviously, you need to place down the mine mining shed where everyone on the map it doesn't have to be in the mine area, and then you have to own plot two three one. So this plot here, and it's literally just up from this iron ore no, um, mine. If that's what you're on about, when it saves, I can jump over there in just a sec. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. Yeah, so this is the iron mine here. So just come up that road from there. And that will actually bring you to where the start of the rocks and gems spawn along this wall here. But yeah, obviously you do need to own that land. Uh, for me, it was, well, is 814. I may differ, obviously I'm using the better contracts to get a better deal on that. 
Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. I got a f oh, 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 do I actually own it? I already do. <gasps> oh, 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 guess what I'm going to do in a minute. I'm going to be destroying the building. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but first I need to get that other dude sorted out. How is he doing anyway? Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you're fine for them now. You are fine. So, I need to find my little skid steer. Yeah, so obviously at the minute I've got this field being harvested. I've got 45 to do. After that, actually, 45 is going to be mowed. Oh, and obviously I did place down obviously my little meat shed. I did actually animate the little fan on the side. So it looks like it's actually getting cooled. Um, obviously I've got my lobster going into this when it comes off the boat and then distributed wherever it needs to go. I do need to get in here and get some more materials. What am I missing on this? Let's see. I need to get some bait fish into here so yeah. Do I have any yet? Oh I hope so. Otherwise I'm going to be f fishing in a minute. Uh, bait fish. Let's distribute that. So that should be fine. Store in that, store in that. Okay, so that should kick over and start producing some more cages and I can get them out. Um, I think I'll, I don't know if there's any more spawned out, but I had, oh, what was it? Um, three, six, nine, was it 12 cages from the far end. Now I don't know, and actually Dave might actually be able to answer this. Obviously, either end of the river do you have to unload both of them or just one and they'll distribute to the two you have to unload it each end is individually each hold 10 cages at a time okay good stuff <sighs> so okay. if you if you put extra in the water they they'll go in yeah at some point when it has room okay Good to know. That was one thing I wasn't 100% sure on, but that is good to know. So the mining shed. Let me come to a spot where I'm not going to delete or accident. So come into your PV mods tab. Go to others. And what you want to do is scroll through. And it's this little brown and red building right there. Mining shed one. And obviously all you literally do is place that down on a property that you own. And then just leave it, and obviously it, what it will do is it will pull um, like sunlight, rain from the actual weather itself. And then, well actually it's mainly rain looking at that to be honest. Um, and then obviously that will then create the products, distribute it to the nodes, and then spawn out the gems. So yeah, obviously that is obviously your mining shed to get the gems and all that. And then obviously you got your event center. This is the white one that controls like the spawning for the seasonal events. So your presents, your coffins, your surfboards, and your bunnies. And that obviously takes rain as well. Um, no, I did not break anything. I never break anything. And the map I am playing on is PV Canyon Crossing by Mr. Dajnet, the gentleman in, in chat. <laughs> oh, bless you. That looks really pretty. Oh. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. So yeah, what I'm probably going to do is cut this. I want to do at least three cuts. I'm not sure if I want to keep it as alfalfa, but I definitely want to do at least three cuts of alfalfa. I want dry and I want normal alfalfa. Um, bales basically um, I might change it for something else like clover and get that going and store that up and then sort of rotate the all the different grass types there we will see though and heck what was I gonna do oh yeah I wanted the skid steers in I? so you're up there okay 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 I'm waiting to see if my alfalfa matures before winter. Oh, that'd be interesting. And obviously with the alfalfa and clover, you just treat it the same as you would grass. 
So, yeah, just grab a mower, cut it, and it will regrow. Why what, Mr. Grits fan? Why are you trolling me today? <laughs> um, Alright, I need a trailer. So I took the one I had up here back to the main farm with some tree sapping, so I need to grab a new one. Yeah, why what, Mr. Grits fan? Why am I on this map? Why am I doing what am I doing? I have no idea. <laughs> uh. Actually, at some point, I do want to get a sand gold master place down. Um, basically, f to supply the Dell factory. Oh, that's going to be fun. I have no idea where I'm going to be placing it yet. Right, so let's come here. Dun, 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 dun. Nice and tidy. Look at that. And we want trailers. And I'll probably go with a little, maybe a low loader. See, I could use one of them. I kind of like that, actually. A little bit bigger, so... Which is the animal feed factory? Cargill. Uh, see black. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that as yellow. Spare wheel. So we'll buy that. Yeah, the big animal feed is obviously Cargill, and it is. I think it's that one. That's Campbell's. Diamond cargo there. So plot 193. And obviously that one you need to build. Obviously Of course you do. Oh yeah. Can't make things too simple. So input product wise you need concrete, pipe, metal at a hundred thousand each. Ooh. Uh pavers and glass at fifty thousand. Block and drywall at twenty five. Mm. I have one storage module or whatever you call them just full of um, building material alright yeah it's maxed out yeah I've got a lot in um, the logistics center I usually try and keep at least a hundred of each in there so if ever I do decide to purchase a factory like I just did I can actually get a truck being brought up here and get that building. Um, ba -ba 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 Still having an arm about whether I want to build Ken's yet. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. Stop doing that. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? There. There we go. Yeah, yellow will fit in quite well with this little JCB, so that's cool. Yeah, obviously I use the JCBs for um, mainly the mining stuff, so it kind of matches in with some of the Volvo's equipment as well, so it's kind of nice. Why do you dry and not dry? So obviously dry and un not dry, it's basically for animal feed. So where you have your grass, obviously that's your undried version and then you got your hay which is dried I have no idea it's just what the, ad, the game says <laughs> you're trolling me today Mr. Grits fan it's not fair I like to troll people not be trolled on kid yeah that, that matches in quite well actually slightly off on the yellow compared to the JCB but eh, good enough I like it I did add in some more trees actually along the way. Um, I have of interest. Which way do I need to come up? Uh, up there. Oh, that's going to be a pig, I think. I don't know. I cleared that, didn't I? Up there, up there. Yeah, I want to come up this way a sec. I'm actually, I might come back down that way, actually. It'd be easier, probably. Um, yeah, I ended up actually adding in some spruce trees to 
the area next to where all my contract vehicles go. And yeah, I think it looks quite nice actually. It just sort of finishes off a little bit, I suppose is the best way to put it. We'll head up there in just a minute to show you what I was doing. Obviously, I carried on. Well, after I got back, I carried on doing obviously the meadow um, bailing and stuff the, from the other day. And oh heck, I can actually show you. I got quite a few bales off of it. Let's come over here. Wow, it's loud. So let's see. This is all the bales that I got off that little plot of land that I was cutting the other day. Um, down here. I'm quite happy with that. And hopefully they're now fermented so they can go into either storage. Yep, they are. Good. So I can, what I can do with them now is obviously put them into my little bale shed here to be distributed out to basically do animal feed. What I'll probably do is fill this up first of all. or make sure it's filled up. Put some into there, and then obviously anything left over can go into the sheds over there. But yeah, obviously the main one I'm actually using the alfalfa and the dry alfalfa for is obviously the animal feed instead of using grass and hay, because obviously it's something new on the map. It's quite nice. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. There we go. There we go. But yeah, at some point I need to clear out that shed. Obviously, it's got a buttload of um, hemp windrow bales in there, so I want to get that cleared out so I can get it replaced either with one of my little sheds itself or, I don't know, something else. But yeah, get in there slowly. Here we go, right up here. Where I'm going to the right. Come on, come on. Up here, forward past them. Yeah, I got you now. But yeah, all of these rocks, if you weren't aware, that saw sort of in the mining area or along the floor, can actually be broken up with the old rock breaker. If you own the property, just grab a skid steer. And the Paladin Rock Breaker from the Platinum DLC, and you can come along and clear all this. Obviously, in this area, they will put out stone. Obviously, the same as what's on the mine floor here. Obviously, that can be picked up and taken to the Rock Crusher and made into lime, limestone, calcium carbonate, and gypsum. No, it's not. Is it? No. Something like that. Yeah, it's gypsum, isn't it? Yes, what I want is, I think, up here. Da, 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 da. Nope, I want to go the other way. That's what I want over there. Bunch of nuggets. But yeah, dang it. I was heading to the gem spawn area. But yeah, there we go. Actually, I can show you over here. Da, 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 da. Coming to here. Yeah, so this little entrance to the mine area, obviously I've been clearing it a little bit at a time. Obviously I did place put down this road a while ago, but as you can see I've now added in some nice spruces just to help sort of maybe hide it a little bit, I suppose is the best way. So yeah, I'm kind of liking it. Obviously this whole area on this side is all trees, and then obviously it comes down to obviously that gravel mine. And obviously where my gold masters are currently. I'm now also considering doing the same thing with this plot of grass here. And putting a load of spruces in just to maybe hide it a little bit. Make it a bit more mysterious. Also got my two fields here now. They're growing. Also I've got this little plot here for Kellogg's to go down. Also that's still the aim. Actually what I could do is have a look at that. Obviously that's tier 4 Kellogg's. There we go. Obviously I can scroll out even f further thanks to Mr. Thunder. And it's just debating on what way do I want to have it. Do I place it that way? 
or have them the other way. Hmm. Actually, I'm kind of liking it that way. That wouldn't be so bad. Just like that. Now, let's have a little quick look. So, for the Kellogg's, we need drywall, glass, metal, concrete, shingle, pavers, pipe, and planks. That's not bad qu quantities as well, so that should be a nice easy one to get going. Hey there, Mr. C65. How are you doing, sir? Obviously, I didn't miss that little bit. Let's grab landscaping. And I've probably got any plants, so I'll just get rid of that. Because that was pretty close to that corner, so that's good. I like it. So yeah, that I will get built at some point. But what I could do is come in, add some trees either side there, just to fill it in a little bit. Obviously I do have this little grass area here. <sighs> See that? This is going to be a funny part. Obviously I've got this flat area. See I, could put see, I could end up just putting a load of trees here if I wanted to. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah. I like it. And the nice thing is, obviously, adding in those trees I could, if I eventually wanted to, is cut them down and put them into the sawmill or wherever. And you utilise them that way. Obviously, I'm mainly waiting on the ones by the farm to grow. To see which ones I've got and which ones are going to be coming out, first of all. I see Blaze have the fast wrapper on Discord. I don't know what the what you mean by Blaze or who Blaze is. Who the Blaze is Blaze? No ideas. But yep, there's plenty of different edits to that around, so yeah. Hmm. They'll do the same thing in my opinion. Wrap up bales. Or just make bales. Yeah, do I know where I'm going? No idea, Mr. Grits fan. No idea. But I'm hoping it's up this way. Actually, I, one thing I still need to do is break into this mine here on the left-hand side. Obviously, that is a cobalt. No, that's the coal. The one up from it, I should say, is a, the cobalt mine. I need to get into there at some point and actually start pulling some product out, the, out of it for Dell. I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing it, but... Uh, I sh will at some point. Obviously then I'll be able to make, I think, the cell phones or the, the TVs, I think it is. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe both. We will see. Um, see, yeah, I got lost there, Mr. Grits fan. I got lost. Just like Mr. Dave here, he gets lost on his own map, so do I. But yeah, how is Mr. C doing today? Hopefully well. And obviously Mr. Viking has popped off for his dinner. There we go. Ooh, look at the length of them boys. Actually, while I'm here, I do want to have a look. Now, one thing you can do, and obviously Dave did mention it the other day, is with some of these mine tops... You can actually remove them. Obviously, you're not. Oh, excuse me. You're not, not going to get anything from him. But for example, the multi mine here, you can remove the top from that. The oh, excuse me. The gravel and the salt mine, which are down here, you can remove the tops from. And if I remember rightly, this bauxite one right here should also be removable. All you literally have to do is come into your construction menu. Click on the old demolish, 
And if I can get a bit closer, I'm not sure if I even own that one yet. We'll find out in a sec. There we go. Oh, see, it should highlight red like that. When it that happens, just click on your mouse, and it says, obviously, do you want to remove it? Yes, if you want to, or no, you can leave it. Obviously, I'm just going to leave it for now. But you can remove that top as well, and then utilize it for other things. So, for example, if I can find where the salt and all that was, da -da 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 -da, around here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Right, so there's the end of the mine. That's the area I'm working on at the minute. So, obviously, this area... Obviously, right here used to actually be the old salt mine. Obviously, I was able to pick it all up and put it into a silo. It took a freaking forever. Um, but yeah, obviously, I've reutilized that land for my gold masters. So, obviously, I've got the great gravel right there, and they can go literally straight into either storage or direct into these. Obviously, at some point, I do want to get into getting the. Um, water treatment facility placed down so I can get these automatically filled up. How's my gold doing? It's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. I've got one bar there, I've got a couple of flakes there, so yeah. But yeah, I want to get at least one more of these placed down. I'm kind of thinking around about where the sand mine is at the top here. If I can get it to fit flush enough, maybe up against the back wall here. And then I can just literally use a wheel loader and fill it direct. Or even this belt, really. So, yeah. That's an idea I was playing around thinking of the other day. Right. Let's see. That's that. That's that. That's what I want. This is the little dude I want. Just keeping an eye on my com my combines as well they're not doing too bad one's getting quite full so I might need to quickly whiz over there and get that unloaded but he's doing fine one of the barley so that's top up the top there that's fine there we go and we'll put some straps on there hope that's far enough forward yep good that should be fine and we'll go demolish a building. But yeah, look at that. Looks pretty cool. Definitely getting there slowly. But yeah, I'm still not quite sure what I want to do with obviously that area that I was cutting the other day. Whether I want to just leave it as it is. Or turn it into maybe a couple of fields. That might be an idea. Or even just to plow it up and then put grass back into it. I have no idea yet something to definitely consider obviously it's a good sized plot of land so could technically put one big massive field in there or break it into two don't know yet we shall see mr t miller how are you doing there sir oh crepes and there is a shout out for Mr. T. Miller. Make sure to click on that link. Give him a follow and catch him when he does go live next. Obviously he is back into streaming so it's great to see. You're doing good. Glad to hear it. Yep, we've got a few contracts on going for anyone just joining us. Um, obviously I've got a couple of my own fields being harvested. And I am going to go destroy a building. Yeah, actually, at the minute, I really don't need the bauxite mine. Because, obviously, I've got that multi-mine. It gets everything from there. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Yeah, that little that silo right there holds all of the sand... Not the... All of the salt, I should say, that I got from that mine. So, yeah, I ain't going to need salt for quite a while, that is for sure. But yeah, I've got all this land at the bottom here, I could even put another production in there if I wanted to. Hmm. Could even put down some gold, uh, a whole load of gold masses there. 
Ooh. That's tempting. That is definitely tempting. But yeah, this year I do want to get in, sort out obviously the graveyard and get that moved. Same with the coffin, the morgue, I should say. Uh, 13 days till City Skylines 2, is it? Ah, okay. That's cool. So I guess you'll be showing that off when it is released then, Mr. T. Miller. You're going to try and get early access to it, so you'll just try it out a little bit before beforehand. Yep, City Skylines 2. I figured that one. Yep. I know you've been waiting for that for quite some time. Eight days till ETS 2. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a feeling, unless it's a, 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 an update to the game, I think that's been out for quite some time there, um, Ghost DK. <laughs> no, they're finally releasing the West Balkans. Oh, are they? Ah. Interesting. Uh, so the graveyard contains ex-workers that didn't do well. Yeah, exactly, Mr. C. <laughs> and yeah, all those factory workers that didn't pull their weight, they, they, they kind of got offed. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Righty. There we go. Don't tip over. Um, a lot of people have it already. I don't uh, stream enough. Okay. Well, to be honest, Mr. T. Miller, um, obviously I went on Key Miller and tried a couple. And obviously I did get a couple of keys on early access, even though I'd never streamed anything like those games previously. So there's always the chance. And I'm pretty sure you've streamed a fair few City Skyline, um, the original game, over the last couple of years. Last time you checked, it wasn't on Keymailer. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. See, that's going to get me curious now. Quick humble bundle of key mailer. Login. Oh. That, that, that one. Is that all the cars? That's all the car cars I can see. Yeah, let's try that one as well. Nope. Bicycles. Oh, I hate trying to. You know how you get these little pictures that pop up? Say, verify you that you are you. Of course it's freaking me. Who's it going to. Oh, who else is it going to be? Logging into my account. Hey there, Green Thumb Farmer. How you doing, buddy? Still not there. Let's have a look. Ah. Maybe they're not releasing it through Keymailer then. Let's have a look. Well, that's a bit of a kick in the booty, isn't it? That is such a shame. I'm guessing they don't want people to purchase the game then. Ah, uh, Mr. The Vink coming in with a stretch. I can do that while I'm slowly making my way up this hill. Oh, I just cracked my fingers by accident. Shouldn't do that. Uh, DLC West Balkans, yeah. Um, help you. I hope, I hope you know where I'm going. Yeah, I know where I'm going there, Mr. Grits fan. Don't worry. I know. I'm going up a hill. <laughs> Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 
Right, so there is a shout out to obviously Mr. Green Thumb Farmer himself. Make sure to click on that link, give him a follow. But yeah, how are you doing there, Mr. The Vink, as well? You're doing good? Glad to hear it there. And obviously, thank you for that stretch. And there. Bing. And there we go. So, there you go. So, if you guys are not following either Green Thumb Farmer or Mr. The Vink1972, click on those links, give them both a follow. Obviously, the Vink's been playing Farm Sim on this particular map and doing a pretty good job of it. Actually, Mr. Greenthorn Farmer also um, currently doing some fact, a new factory for you guys. Obviously, he's going to be using a lot of the products for th that's on this map already. So, to, to make them the, the products, oh, I need to unload that, undo that. I'll turn you off. There we go. So if you guys have never seen one of these buildings being demolished, you literally have, all you need is this little Paladin SFB750, which is a skid steer attacher. Now obviously if you've got a skid steer, you can use that. Obviously if you wanted to, there is the CSZ pack, and that has adapters on it, so you can actually hook it onto a wheel loader, a telehandler, anything like that if you wanted to. Obviously, I'm just doing it the legitimate way with the old skid steer. Obviously, all you literally do, get it into position, hit the old B key to turn it on, drive up to the building, and obviously you'll get that bang, 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 bang. And yeah, eventually that building will then disappear and leave a little pile of rubble. Obviously, the rubble, which is right there, can then go into the PMS recycling building to create products in there, which is kind of nice. And obviously you're very, very welcome there, um, Mr. The Vink. Um, I find out how everything works on PV Canyon Cross. Yeah. There we go, let's get that up there. That should be fine for now. There we go, let's do that. Just out of interest. I don't think I own them, but there is those two buildings as well. No, I don't, okay. So that's good to know. But yeah, I'm doing not too bad actually. I might be taking a quick five minute break shortly. Just to grab a fresh drink and stretch the old leggies. And Rusty Nail is sending me some Fast bell wrapper. Uh, don't know what you mean by. Hey, what was it? Fast baler, fast baler. I did do an edit to the fast baler. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what Rusty Nell was on about earlier. Obviously, he sent me a Discord message as well. Um, I did do an edit of it for Mamadou. That could be what it is. I don't know. Actually, what I'm going to do is take a quick break and let auto drive drive this back to. I have no idea. Logistics unloading, I think. Should be fine. When I get back, what I will do is I will get one of these combines unloaded. And yeah. But yeah, stick with these guys. Enjoy. Watching some, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put you on here. You can watch this guy harvesting. Now we'll be right back.
the screens out quickly. There we go. That's better. There we are. Right then, back to it. Right, so I do need to get a truck and trailer onto that other field. I got a field that's the one at the top here. And uh, da -da -da -da, let's see. Yes, yeah, him. Okay. Right then, what do we have available? Oh, come on, stop messing around. There we go. So we do have a truck here we can use, so that's fine. So I do have some trailers down the side here somewhere. Parked up. But there we go. Life is a roller coaster, just gotta ride it. I went right past them, didn't I? They're up there. I forget where everything is. <laughs> I need to set up a little area, I think, just for different areas of map. So, I think at some point I do want to look into maybe purchasing this farm up the top here. Just out of curiosity, how much is that? 750. Hmm. Owned by Rip Wheeler. So, bugger it. That, we'll purchase that one. As I'm, see, I haven't got any fields down there, so it's pointless getting anything there. And it's pointless getting anything down there, okay. So what I can actually start doing now is looking to stock this area up. Um, let's see, that's going to be the northwest farm. And obviously, yeah, New Holland. So that will fit in quite well, I think, up there. So that's not too bad. See, that's going to be mainly grains coming out of there, so obviously you can go into the grain mill and such. So that'll make life a little bit easier. There we go. There's my little boys. There we are. I'm actually now decide, de debating whether to remove the rest of these trees and replace them with spruces as well. Obviously once that main road coming into the farm is started growing I can get an idea of what it's going to look like. And then I'll make a decision. I, to be honest I didn't even harvest these ones last year. Um, it's nice having them there but I think having a different tree might be nicer there. I don't want to carry on with the birches. There's plenty of birches around here. So, yeah, I'll probably just go with the spruces and grow them from saplings. Get okay, good space with them. Right, there we go. Obviously, all these fields that I purchased at my own myself. I am actually getting straw swath dropped so I can obviously make electricity out of it or bail it up at some point. I don't know. We will see. But for now, I'm just going to collect it loose. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the bum. Now, obviously, I have been working obviously on my storages as well. Um, what did I add in the other day? Oh yeah, obviously I've added in one for bales now. Obviously you can unload loose into it if you wanted to. Or the bales. And obviously it's going to do all the bales, so your grass, your hay, your straw, all those ones. Plus obviously your cotton. Um, co yeah, cotton, lavender and tobacco bales will also go into that. Um, you are worried about Mamadou? Why are you worried about Mamadou? She was obviously live yesterday. She did quite well. She does get a little um, focused on the game and kind of tends to maybe not pay attention to chat a little bit. But yeah, she seems to be fine. I know she's not been feeling the greatest recently, but uh, it's the time of the year, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's done. So yeah, that was the other thing as well. I did add in bricks to obviously the construction um, storage that I did as well. 
that there. And I'm working on a woodworks storage as well. Um, so far I've got everything from the sawmill, the shingle factory, um, the paper factory in there, uh, staircase railings, basically all the stuff that you need currently for the buildables. The only thing I have got in there is the tables and chairs yet, but I'm still adding in as I go. So hopefully by Friday that will be finished and I can get that updated to you guys. So yeah, I've also got another project that I'm w going to be working on after that, it's like terrible. So, um, the other day also I was in Discord with Dave and X Man and all that. And X Man asked if there was any storages for like the grapes and the olives. Obviously, as far as I'm aware, I think that on the in game mod hub there is a grape storage. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure I've seen one. But it gave me the idea of maybe doing one. So, I've actually gone into the base game maps, got a few things. I'm kind of thinking along the lines of maybe a container storage. So it'd basically be kind of like the sheds, how the sheds are, but it'd be like a container where you unload the products into, and then either spawn out a pallet or bring, bring it out loose. I'm not sure how it's going to come back out, and do it that way. I may do two versions: one that will auto distribute, and one that will just store. That's an idea as well. Right, so let's get you opened up. Get that opened up. And it looks like my. Ooh, what one's that? Ken's is now built. Is that a Ken's or a Heinz? Can I remember the red one? Heinz in it. Ooh, I'll pop over there and see in a minute. Doopy 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 doo. Ooh, I know I've got uh, alt L. There we go. It's all it takes. It should be 250, not 200. Why is it only unloading 200? Mm. In oh, I'm on the wrong one, that's why. Let's go up to there. One thing I also remember when you're using this um, fill limiter to reset it so it goes back to the original capacity. There we go. That is a great mod. It's very helpful. It is really good if you are just after, like, say, 10,000 of one product. You can actually go into the menu, set it to 10,000, and it won't fill or overfill it type thing, so it's perfect. Well, on a map like this. I use it for contracts, because with the better contract mod, you know how much you need to take. Uh, yeah, so that's I... perfect, yeah. Harvest the whole field, put it in my silo, and then just take what I need over to and keep yeah. the rest. He's a smart boy, isn't he? <laughs> uh, the brush here. Oh, my. Um, not sure what you're on about there, Mr. Grits fan. Really not sure. Don't quite understand. <laughs> Is that a coded message to Billy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could read it as well. Oh, bless you, dude. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it is the Heinz factory. Oh, that is fully built. Nice. Is that interesting? Has anything come over there? It has. Ooh. I like my little storages. They auto distribute. Let's have a little look. That. What am I missing? So I need to get some water into here. I need to get some salt brought over. But I oh, want some bottles. Okay. Some must. Oh, I haven't got any mustard. So I can get some mustard in for next year. So that's something. Now this is something I do need to actually work on. Is getting some the dill factory up and running. Mmm. Darn. Okay. Tomatoes is 
fine. But yeah, the water, salt, balls, not too much. It looks like it's been producing something already, actually. So I must, must look in the logistics center. I'm probably going to say there's probably something in there already. Hmm. But yeah, I need to make a list of mustard to add to crops going in next time. Okay. And get on to that. But yeah, it's also where, where to put things. That's a big question. Oh, oh, actually. Now, would it be really cheeky if you had the pickle factory right next to the Heinz? <laughs> oh, yipes. Wow, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. I do want to get a couple more of these in, actually, at some point. I think I can get at least one more on that side. And that's going to be pushing it. See, what I could do is buy that property, sell that off, because obviously I've got that already with the Aurora Textiles. don't really need it, so I could actually expand it out this way a bit. Um, this lot could be removed. I actually own this property. I actually turned one house into two. I thought that was quite a nice little idea with a big, big property there. Did that a long time ago. But I could literally take them out and just keep... Oh, excuse me, keep burp, um, burping. I can literally have a whole row of apartment blocks all there. Same with this one, I could bring it literally right up to the old factory. Obviously, the old factory itself is going to be going as well at some point. Um, obviously, once I get that other one placed down, wow, that is going to be one huge. Pick an apartment block. <laughs> Do I have a cold breaker machine? I wish I did. No. Yeah. I wish. How are you doing? You're doing fine. You're pumping away nicely. You got barley in there. You got wheat. You got some potatoes, corn, sorghum. I have space on rice flour. Why have I run out of rice flour? Or oh, got too much rice flour? Need to pop down to Heartland Bread. See what's going on there quickly. Do, 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 do. It seems to be missing something. Heartland bread. Rice. I thought we did a rice bread. That one. Which one are you for? Organic. Corn. Ah, it's that, isn't it? It's the cranberries. I've run out of cranberries. Oh no, it says I've got some there. So why has that stopped? What am I missing? What am I missing? That's there, that's there. That, everything's there. Sure, what's going on there? Obviously, that one is still waiting on milk, so that'll come through at some point. Um, milk and salt for that. Okay. But that should be producing. Should be producing. Let's see, I've got no salt, no oat flour. That's fine. But yeah, it should be going. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on that one for the minute. But anyway, what was I doing? What was I doing? Um, right, so you've been unloaded. You're fine. I'll get obviously this one onto this field. Actually, I could look into actually purchasing. Uh, some combines and such go up there. So I said New Holland, didn't I? What have I got? 1.2. So let's have a look. So combines. What's the biggest? It's going to be you in it. 14.5. 14.5. Do you go any higher? Nope, 
they're all the same. Okay, so we'll do that. I like this this one with the little dome on the top. It's quite nice. This, the nice thing is also you, you don't have to really too, worry too much about unloading or unfolding it. Obviously, the pipe does unfold, but yeah, I'll add that on. So that's going to be four, that's eight. Now, do I do one or two? I'll do the one for now. Because also, I'm going to need to get the header for that. So, combination. There's that one. Is the what I want. So we'll buy that. We can get that sent up. Now obviously I am going to need a new Holland tractor. So let's go into tractors. Probably the biggest one if possible. At some point I do want to get this guy out and have a play with that. Um, that's going to be too big for them, what I'm wanting. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we'll go with the T8, maybe. That's quite a beast, isn't it? And we'll go with the biggest engine. You keep an eye on the price. Now, I always usually go for the wide tyres. I have no idea why, but I do. Yeah, that'd be fine. Definitely with the Scout on there. GPS, yes. We'll buy that. And while I'm there, I'll get a trailer to go up the top um, ba -ba 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 -bam, for unloading to start off with. Uh, what have I got on mine? See, I could use that. I could use that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go with that one. And do I have a New Holland? There is a New Holland. Look at that. Oh, pretty. I like that. Uh, I think you usually have white tires on this, so white and blue. That would be perfect. Yep, we'll buy you. And that should be fine, so. Okay, um, the bridge she's building, I hope the trigger is not. get too high. Um, yeah, obviously that's why I told her not to add any more of the, oh heck, what was it, the long planks? One of the products, anyway. I basically told her to concentrate on the concrete and the other products, get them to 100%. And then, start adding in that last one, but make sure to add it all in one hit, so. But yeah, she'll be fine, I'm keeping a close eye on Mamadou. She's actually doing a lot better than I thought she would. Mm. Actually, I, I'm very surprised at just how much she's picked up. And mm. obviously, I do know that she does watch these streams back a lot. Obviously, myself, Dave, and all the other guys. So she is taking notes and stuff. So, yeah, and paying attention. And obviously, she's asked me quite a few questions along the way. So, it's good. Right, and so she will get there. Yeah, I think when she was originally speaking to you about the bridges and stuff, I think she might have got that a little, a little bit confused and obviously started adding in all of the products and obviously that's the bad thing to do. So, yeah. She will get there. If not, I can always help her out. Uh, control F. There we go. You can follow me up. Oop, I need to turn that speed thing off. But yeah, she will be fine. Ooh, that looks quite good. I like that. See, now there's... No, okay, sorry if, if I just scared people. There's something I don't quite understand with New Holland. Now, obviously, their tractors are blue, but yet their combines are yellow. I don't understand why that is. Why not have both yellow or both blue? Are you going to behave now, mate? Are you? Or do I need to do it the other way around and have the tractor behind? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it the other way around. Oh. I, I don't think how these helpers are very helpful in combines. Actually, yeah, let me drive in front. 
with this. Obviously, this is obviously the slower bit thing as well, so... Yeah. Yeah, that just doesn't make sense why you'd have one piece of equipment yellow, or vehicle, should say, and then the other blue. lined up with him. So let me come out of here a sec. Oh no, you're fine there, Mamadou. Um, not Mamadou, uh, Grits fan. Heck, even I get confused with, with some of the stuff you come up with. There we go. Blue, yellow and white. Uh, I suppose. See, now it makes me want to colorize uh, a New Holland Combine so it's blue to see what that looks like. There we go. Right, I'm going to put you a little bit further back, so obviously that header. And hopefully you should be fine. Right then. Okay then, Mr. Tractor, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. Uh, I'm sure he'll catch up. He goes fa he's faster than I am, so that's even better. But yeah, the company colours are blue, yellow and white. Yeah, I suppose it makes sense. Actually, I think in uh, 19 there was an actual New Holland combine like this that could be colourised as blue. Now, I don't know if it's a... Uh, Actual thing or not? That's the thing. I think, I think there was even like a, a brown version as well. So, in New Holland, you I used to be part of Ford. I think that was where they got the blue from. Is yeah, I think New Holland bought out Ford tractors if I remember rightly. That's why in game you don't find any Ford. Tracks his base game now, it's all New Holland or rebranded as New Holland. Actually, he's now finished, so I can get him onto the next field. Okay. Interesting. How you doing there, heavy racing queen? Hope you're well. And there's a shout out for heavy racing queen. If you guys are not following her, click on the link, give her a follow. Obviously, she was doing a little bit of Asphalt 9 Legends the other day. So, if it's the sort of thing you're into, go over and check her out. You are very, very welcome. One sec, I need... My wife is looking at me.
<sighs> All right, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, my wife's not feeling the greatest. So what I'm going to do is go on for another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to jump off and then sort her out. Um, cause it would be another hour, but I am really, really sorry. Yeah. But yeah, I suppose that does make sense. Their team are there. Obviously, the yellow, blue, and the white. So, eh. But yeah, obviously, I will be back again, hopefully, Friday, my usual time. So I'm going to be just carrying on harvesting. I'm going to keep the hired workers going and also deal with my wife. And yeah, hopefully she'll be feeling a little bit better soon. I know the last few days she hasn't been feeling the greatest anyway, but today just seems to have hit a high. I think the biggest issue is obviously our old cat, Nico, is actually... Um, we had to bring him back here. Obviously, we rehoused him with my wife's mother, and, or yeah, our mother. And it would seem he's been a little pickle and constantly keeping her up at nights and not allowing her to sleep and stuff. So yeah, we said we'd bring him back here, give him a trial period. And obviously, we brought him back yesterday morning. Um, yeah, brought him back here. Yesterday he wasn't too bad. Today he's not been too bad. He's sort of been hiding a little bit behind the couch for the most part of the day. Not sure why. And then a little while ago this evening he actually went for one of our other cats again. So yeah, probation is over. He is out of here now. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to have to look into either finding him a new home or get him into like a pet rescue or something unfortunately he's had plenty of chances and yeah unfortunately he keeps messing it up I have no idea why um, it's just one of those things unfortunately I think that's what's obviously worrying my wife as well obviously the other cats and everything's just gone on recently company is going to behave this time around but it always seems to be one cat in particular he always goes for I don't know why if it wasn't for that he, he could stay uh, he'll be praying for oh thank you there Mr. Grits fan but yeah we'll get through it if only cats could speak yeah exactly that would be nice That would definitely be nice. I know on the actually, The Simpsons did an episode where they actually created a machine that translated baby speak. They could do with something like that with for dogs and for cats. <laughs> so we could say, well, what's going on, mate? Why do you keep doing this? And uh, I just don't get it. I really don't. The worst thing we had him from a kitten. And yeah, I have no idea what why he just is the way he is. Also, we ended up getting the snip. Thought that might help. Nope. We've tried catnip. We've tried using um. Oh, feel away. Obviously, that's meant to relax cats and stuff. Obviously, especially around. Um, like fireworks and loud noises and that hasn't even worked either it's just frustrating the only thing I can think of is maybe where he's a boy he's a little more boisterous possibly I don't know but yeah that is something we're gonna have to sort out as quickly as possible either that or we need a real life Dr. Doolittle. That might be a nice idea. I know there's like dog whisperers out there, but what about a proper cat whisperer? I haven't seen any yet myself. So, yeah. Um, yes, he is a boy. 
Um, the, in our flat, we actually have four other cats that are Grits fan. We have um, one other male, so at the minute we've got two males and three females. That is really quite loud, that fan. Um, but the thing is, he doesn't really bother with any of the other cats. It's all the youngest female that he always seems to go for. And obviously, before we originally rehomed him, he was literally laying into this other cat badly, which is which is why we had to um, rehome him in, rehome him initially. But yeah, we kind of thought having a break and being somewhere else, he'd maybe chill out a bit. But yeah, that doesn't seem to have worked out. All he has just gone straight back to his old habits. It's kind of weird. But oh well. If any of you guys want a cat, let me know. I'll even ship it to America. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I wouldn't do that. But nah. I'll see if I can find a home for him. Quickly, at least. Maybe we could ship him over to Dave. How about that? It'd be a nice little pet for him. Yeah, I'll take him. Okay. As long as the man over. Yeah, as long as you don't have any Chinese restaurants near you, I don't care. Oh, well, that's where I was going <laughs> to deliver him. <laughs> oh, I think I read his mind there. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's, cause it's kind of weird because you said, wasn't it? Males seem to be more relaxed than females, I've had, or something. I had one female cat in four male cats and the female was the one that was always the problem mm. well it seems like the worst uh, it's the opposite for us actually to the be honest males the, the other male always the peaceful and yeah. yeah yeah the female is the one that would actually bite people mm. <laughs> oh he yeah Nico has done that in the to me quite a few times in the past oh, but the males bother. never yeah. had an issue with it Maybe he's just confused. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh no, I won't, I won't go there. <laughs> you were thinking the same as me. He's a little confused on his sexuality. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> you I, got it. I, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. You, obviously, it happens in humans and other animals. Why not cats? Can a cat get confused about his sexuality? I don't know. I really don't know. I would buy Okay. Uh, be prepared to pay around about two thousand. Yeah. Oh, that's Oh, lovely. Is it, oh. Oh. So does that mean you're not actually going to be? Getting y Yuki back then. Is he going to be staying with you like your daughter there, T Miller? And. Oh, heck, what was that? Uh, Mark, one, two, two, one, two, three. Thank you very much for that follow. And obviously, welcome in. Obviously, we are going to be jumping off in a couple of minutes so I can deal with some real life stuff. $200, yeah. And. Uh, you did say he was fixed. So confused. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we where we've got female cats and obviously another male. We've kind of thought obviously getting them snips would uh, maybe calm him down a bit with testosterone. But yeah, it didn't seem to do a lot to be honest. There. And how you doing, guy? <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously, Mark. Thank you very much for that follow once again, much appreciated. And obviously if you've got any questions about the game, the map that I'm on, or anything that you see currently, this lovely combine, which is base game, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to ask questions anytime. Obviously, like I said, I am going to be jumping off in just a minute. I do need to actually start looking for somebody to raid over to um, in a sec, so yeah. Send them to Tashi Cat's rescue. I, oh, if it was a real place, I really would. Then again, it's actually based on a real cat protection, so 
That might be an option. That really might be an option, so... Hmm. Aye. Give us that with your niece and her kids. They love them. Oh, that's... As long as he's got a good home. And obviously, if you ever go back to, obviously, like, the Philippines or wherever, you can still see Yuki, so that's good, Auntie Miller. That's good. And obviously, you've been looking for a while. What map is this? This is PV Canyon Crossing. Obviously, it is in, hopefully, the title to the stream. And it's a, a 16 x map by Mr. Dajnet, who's actually in chat with us at the moment. Obviously, he's done a lot, or basically all of the PV maps that have been released out there. And obviously, this is obviously yeah, the current map that he's been working on. Obviously, it's now released to everyone to enjoy. And I need to find where this field entrance is. There we are. There we are. But yes, also if you do have any questions about the map, where to get it, you can ask at any time. Just not right now, unfortunately. I've got to jump off. And also, yeah, go sort my wife out. Let me drop you there a sec. But yeah, if you want the map, obviously it's PC only, exclamation mark, SGA will give you the link to our Trello, where you can actually get the mod for the switcher. Oh, let me stop you there for a minute. Or, if you really wanted to, you could just grab the direct download link, but I would recommend the mod for the switcher if you want to play on this map. Get you hooked up already. X, X, there. I will lower you. Come on. Right, there we go. Okay, I am definitely going to have to jump off, guys. So, da, 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 da. let's go to the ending screen quickly. Hit the old credits. And let's see what's happened today. Lots and lots and lots. Ooh. He's a cheeky so and so. Okay, so let's see, let's see, 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 so, so, I'm looking back on things, so Sim Farmer 77 thank you very much for the follow, Mark122123, thank you very much for that follow as well, much appreciated, obviously, big huge thank you to, obviously, um, Grits Fan for the $5 donation earlier, thank you, thank you, thank you, that will help, but yeah, obviously, I will be back on Friday, I'll have the update to the shed pack for you guys, hopefully, if I can get everything in there. <laughs> and hopefully have a little look at what my next project is. Um, let's have a look. Who is out there in the magical world of Twitch? Let's mute that. We have Mr. Darius Frost doing a bit of satisfactory evil Reyes. Uh, okay. It looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of satisfaction in Darius Frost. Obviously, he did do a fresh restart earlier today. Um, I know just before I went live, he had actually just gotten up to coal power. So, yeah, I think that's who we're going to be raiding over to. I don't see anybody else really in my list doing any farm sim or anything remotely close to it. So, I'll get that up. And yes, get this raid going. Obviously, if you haven't uh, followed Mr. Darius Frost, let me Darius Frost. Obviously, that is the person we're going to go over. So if you haven't given them a follow already, please do so. Otherwise, come with me, and we'll go see what he's been up to since um. I started. So I'll get this raid started. And yeah, I will be back same time, same place on Friday. Hopefully. Obviously Mr. Dajnet will be streaming later on, so make sure to check him out as well. So yeah. Exclamation mark obviously or just do Dajnet in the search and you can find him that way as well. So catch you guys later. Bye for now. Bye for now, Felicia. Mm-hmm. <laughs>